Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and I'm back with the owl stepped on a rock. I'm here with the first, with my first DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus fully autonomous flight, meaning that all of the uh, all of the flights going to be GPS controlled. You can see now I'm tilting the uh, the camera up and down. I'm going to kind of face it forward a little bit. But now you need to make sure before you do this that you've installed the latest and greatest firmware on your DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus because if you haven't and you haven't updated your DJI Vision app on your iPhone or your Android phone it's not going to work properly. So what I've done now, I've powered the Phantom on, I've set my home point. Now within this screen here where you control your camera I'm going to swipe to the left in the middle of the screen and it's going to bring you to this new feature. And this new feature, and you can choose satellite imagery or you can choose uh, street level mapping or hybrid, just kind of like a Google Maps kind of thing. But what's important is you're going to see your home point. So right there where we are now, the little red airplane and the blue underneath, the blue is the home point. So what we're going to do is set a flight plan. We're going to use waypoints, and I'm doing this with my fingers. So we're going to go over a baseball field, but first, from our home point, we're going to go out in the middle of this parking lot. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to double tap, and I can select my altitude. So I'm going to fly at about 277 feet. So I hit OK there. My next waypoint, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to go home. So I'm going to hit that, and then I'm going to double tap, and I can set my altitude. I'm going to do about, do about 258 feet, and then I'm going to go to first base. Same thing, about 200. And, actually, I'll take it down a little bit, 250, and then I'm going to go to second base take it down to about 177 just to kind of mix up the uh, the, the elevation and then I'm going to go to third base take it down to about actually I'm going to take it back up on the way there because I'm going to be flying out you got to be aware of your surroundings I'm in a big field I've checked out the power lines and obviously airplanes flying over and all that so you, I'm in a safe location you need to be you need to be aware of your surroundings. So I'm going to do all of that. And then uh, instead of going home, I'm just going to skip home plate. And I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go straight back to the, to the takeoff point. Now what you can also do in this app, you can, uh, you can pick the speed. So I'm going to do a fast, no, slow speed. That way I can better see what's going on. So I've set the speed. I've set the waypoints. I've set the, uh, the elevation data. So the next thing I'm going to do is hit done. Once I hit done, I can review. So my waypoint one, I'll be at 275 feet. Waypoint two, 255, 255, 177, 275, and then 275. So when I'm ready, I can say go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit go. It should start itself and it should start its, uh, its flight path. Okay, it started up. And you can see here on the screen, the red airplane indicates the, uh, the location of the drone, the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. And you can see right now, I'm not doing anything. My hands are off. This is all GPS-assisted flight. Uh, should you need to regain manual control, you can toggle the S1 switch. Uh, should you need to temporarily pause your uh, flight pattern, you can push the uh, pause button, the little two bars facing up within your app. Should you need to return home prematurely, you can hit the return home option. It's just a very straightforward app. And you know, like Mike, everything DJI just continues to get better and better. So, so this is really incredible. Like I said, I, I selected slow speed because I wanted to uh, maximize my, my comfort level with this before I use it too much. But if you hit this back arrow, you can get back to your camera. And I forgot to hit record. So I hope I'm still in range to, to do that. It says it's recording, but I'm not getting uh, I'm not getting video feed from that, so I don't know if it's 
maybe the video feed is temporarily uh, suspended when you're when you're in this. That's something I'll have to investigate because, like I said, this is my first fully autonomous flight, meaning that it's fully uh, GPS controlled. But yeah, it appears to be recording. I just I, I can't see the video feed. So we're gonna slide our finger back now to the left. It'll take us back to our map. We can go to our map. And we can see now it's approaching waypoint one. So once it approaches waypoint one, uh, it then should go to two, three, four, five, and then return back to uh, to where where it took off from, which is right there on that orange case. So we're just going to patiently watch this, and 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 you can see here on the screen, and that's why I wanted to post this video because I want everybody to be able to see what I see when I look down at my. DJI Vision app on the uh, on the iPhone. I'm using iPhone 5, but like I said, this will work for Android. Just a really cool, cool thing. And I mean, you know, part of the drone, part of the drones in general, especially the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus, is learning what all you can do with it. And for a professional photographer and or videographer, being able to establish these waypoints is important because it enables someone to focus on controlling the camera as opposed to focusing on flying. And that's that's something, I don't know if it's just a bug, maybe I maybe I had a random bug and that's why I couldn't see the real-time camera imagery. Uh, but the, uh, the GPS is working great here. I can see all these waypoints. You can see it's at waypoint two now. And as after it's hit a waypoint, it goes to, uh, it, it turns it kind of a darker color. You can see three's dark now, now it's going to waypoint four. And then once it hits four, that should darken up. See, now it's going down because I told the elevation to go down when it hit uh, when it hit four. So that's pretty neat. And then it's going to start going back up when it hits. Uh, yep, it's going back up because it's on its way to five. I mean, this is when you think about it. This is truly incredible because this is all happening as a result of GPS satellites. It knows exactly where to go. And actually, I'm so comfortable with it right now, I'm gonna turn my back on it. See how long we've been filming. Yeah, we've been filming about a little bit over seven minutes. But I mean, this is, this is truly incredible. And it's hit five, now it's coming back to us. I'm gonna go back and see if the camera happens to be available now. I, so bright out here actually it is so there was I guess some sort of intermittent uh, delay with the camera but see now I can manipulate the camera angle it down angle it up whatever I want to do see and it's flying back to me because if you look at this map or if you, if you look at the imagery right now you will see that building and then you'll see a group of trees right beside a trail that group of trees is where I'm standing with the tripod and, and where I'm narrating from. So we're going to let this thing continue on its own here without any sort of intervention. I'm going to angle the camera back up a little bit more. I, I don't like to uh, I don't like to land with it facing down. That's something DJI needs to make is a little lens protector for it so that when you're landing you don't risk uh, scratching up your camera or anything. So let's go back to the, and I just swipe my finger to the left to go back to the map. And you can zoom in and zoom out on this, by the way, if you want to. And what's cool while you're doing all this, you see your telemetry, you see your distance. So it's 80, 75 feet away now, altitude's 276 feet. Should be, uh, well, I mean, obviously it's right above me, I see it. So now it says mission complete. So it refers to these as missions. So now that the mission's complete, I can do a few things here. I could uh, I could hit return home, which is the return home button to the right of the display, or I could regain manual control. And that's actually what I just did. So to regain manual control, I shifted that down, and then I shifted that back up. Since we've got uh, quite a bit of battery life remaining. I'm going to play around here a little bit manually. 
go back to the camera. And I'm gonna get under this tree so I can see, but y'all be able to see everything that's on my screen. There's something I don't, that's just not 100% correct about this, um, about this video feed right now. See, it keeps coming in and out. And I haven't, I've never had that problem, so I'm assuming it may be something with this, with this GPS assisted flight plan. Something else I want to show you is the gimbal. Watch how this camera remains horizontal when I go left and right. Horizontal with the ground. See, I can just let it hover there if I want to. Watch this, I'm gonna land it on top of that case. And by the way, you can find the link to the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus, as well as the uh, waterproof case that I'm using. Super nice, floats, ruggedized, very brightly colored, so if, it, if you're swimming with it or if it falls off your boat, you'll be more likely to find it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and like I said, I appreciate your feedback and questions. Because like I said, this is my first time to do, obviously I'm not doing the autonomous flight right now, I've got manual control again, but this was my first time playing with the, uh, with the DJI, Fan, DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus ground control functionality built into the app. And watch this, we got a little bit of wind too. Let's see if I can put it down in that face. This is something you really want to get skilled at if you're if you're landing in tight areas, maybe on the front of a boat or something like I do a lot. If you can't do it without the water rocking beneath you, you're probably not going to be able to do it in the boat.
perfect. So that is my first demonstration of the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus ground control functionality. Again, it's built into the app. Be sure your Phantom is firmware updated. Be sure your app is updated. And obviously the first time that you do this, be sure that you're in an open space, free of uh, any sort of electronic interference, you know, cell phone towers, etc., power lines. Make sure you're not near an airport that's going to, uh, or you may get involved with air traffic. You don't want to do that. A lot of people are trying to bash drones. They're trying to say, ooh, we need to ban those. We need to ban those. No, you don't need to ban them. You just need to be responsible and have fun with them. So thanks for watching. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can find an order link for my case, my drone, my car chargers, my batteries, all of my goodness, and a ton of videos that I have in addition to this one. So share with others. Subscribe, youtube.com forward slash irixgath. And y'all have a good day.